Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Psalm 63 for the last uh, four days. And today we are reading verse number 9 to 11, which is the last portion of this particular psalm. And um, verse 9 says, Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depth of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him, while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Praise the Lord. The psalmist in this portion, that is verse 9 to 11, gives us a clear picture of what happens when we make God our God. That is from verse number 1. When we seek God earnestly, when we thirst for God, when we long for him, and when we purpose to praise him all day long. And again, when we meditate upon his counsel, his word, even in the watches of the night, the psalmist helps us to see that we find true security. And one day in verse number nine, he says, those who want to kill me will be destroyed and they will be they will go down to the depths of the earth in other words you have nothing to fear because god is in charge of your life he will deal with any kind of a challenge anything that may threaten your life god is ready to deal with it secondly he says that they will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals here, it's a reminder that, yes, we may not even understand what to do with a particular situation, but because God is our refuge, God is our protection and our everything, he knows how to handle situations that may come to threaten our lives. And uh, the psalmist con uh, concludes by saying that, but the king will rejoice in God. And all those who swear by God will, you know, they will rejoice, they will glory in him. Not swearing um, in any other way, but those who have taken the name of the Lord, those who have taken God as their God, just like the psalmist is saying, you God are my God. I have made you my God. Those who have made the Lord their God, will glory in him and so as we conclude this psalm once again we desire that god may help us to stand by his word by his name to seek him to seek his counsel so that the, at the end of it all we may glory in him we may rejoice in him and instead of our mouths being silenced we continue rejoicing and celebrating of God's doing. Remember, in verse number four, the psalmist says that I will praise you as long as I live. Those who take refuge in God, their mouths are not silenced. If anything, they continue praising the Lord. The Bible reminds us that in God we have total security. We need not to fear, but we must make God our God. We must take refuge in him. We must allow him to take charge of our lives. I'll read verse number 10, verse number 11. But the king will rejoice in God. Today, instead of saying the king, you can say, you can put your name, but I will rejoice in God. And because I have taken the name of the Lord, I have taken God to be my God. I will glory in him. Two great things that we will rejoice in God and we will glory in him. Take refuge in God. Make him your God. Make him your all in all. And even when situations and circumstances may be so tough, we shall rejoice in God and glory in him. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. And again, this is the last Friday of the month of June 
2023 by the grace of God. See you next month, the month of July. God bless you. God keep you. Shalom.